Okay, so I am going to explain to you how we had our dream wedding. It was perfect. It was exactly what we wanted. Um, for, I'm going to say between $2,500 and $3,000. So, I lucked out. A friend of mine, actually she lives across the street, she found me the perfect dress online. So, my mom and a few of my sisters, we all took off and went into Winnipeg to David's Bridal. They had a $99 dress sale at the time. So I found my $900 dress and I only paid about $125 after taxes. And I also picked up a bag to hang it in, which was, I believe, $10, but maybe it was $15. Anyway, so I paid $100 for my dress and $125 for the crinoline to go underneath. My alterations were $110. So total, I would have spent $1,135 on this dress, but I actually paid $335. So I saved $800 by getting a dress that was on sale. Um, for the groomsmen, we ordered them uh, burgundy ties off Amazon. They were around 15, maybe $13 a tie. Um, and we got five. So we paid $65 for the groomsmen's ties. So they all matched. Um, our boys, we have two kids. We got them these super adorable sets. So it was suspenders, a tie and a bow tie for $15.99 on Amazon. We rented our chairs. They were $2 a piece. We got 100 chairs. And we also rented curtains to go down our fence just to cover it and, you know, make it look pretty. <laughs> um, we picked up the wire to hang our curtains from Home Depot, I think. Home Depot. I think it was about $50 for the two lines that we had to get. Um, we borrowed tables from my workplace, so they didn't cost us anything. Uh, for pictures, I actually do photos for people, so I had all of the equipment, so we didn't have to have somebody come in. My one sister and then my other sister's boyfriend actually took most of them, and then one of my friends took a couple as well. The neighbors that live across the street, they made us our cake, which was delicious. Oh my goodness, they did so good. Um, for supper, everybody brought something. My children are trying to sneak in on me here. Boys, what are you doing? Mm. You want to say hi? Hi. Bye. <laughs> Told them to go upstairs, but of course they don't listen. Um, so for supper, everybody brought something. We had... Oh, what did we all have? We had a bunch of different salads. Um, I made meatballs the morning of the wedding. Actually, I made meatballs. <laughs> Talk about last minute, that's us. Um, what else did we have for supper? Meatballs. We had meatballs and buns and, was there ham? Mm, nope. No? We had lettuce, taco salad. Oh yes, taco salad. And we had an oriental salad and a Caesar salad. Anyways, everybody kind of brought something and I think we spent about $150 on food. Um, for lights, we actually got two packs of lights from Canadian Tire and wrapped them off our tree. They're solar lights, so we got, were able to set those out early and have them uh, come on when it got dark. We also bought a box of tea lights from Amazon they were like perfect. They were just bright enough. So we had them on the tables as well. Um, my flowers, which I kind of have sitting here. They're fake flowers. That way I get to keep them. Um, my mother picked up lots of these ones and I picked up a whole bunch of flowers for the table and whatnot. Thank you. <laughs> okay, can I, can I have a piece of this? In a minute. Thank you. So, where was I? Okay, so 
For our centerpieces, we bought bottles from the Dollar Tree. They were kind of like funky wine bottles and I sprayed them gold because our colors were burgundy and gold and like a blush pink. Um, so I think we got about 10 bottles and then I got littler bottles as well and they were already gold. So I think we spent about $40 on the bottles, the paint and whatnot. Um, like I was saying, about $250 total was spent on all of our flowers. Love you, Mom. Love you, honey. And we actually built a dance floor, hoping that people would get up and dance. So the frame of it was free because we just picked up pallets from my husband's place of work. They were just going to throw them out, so we thought we'd use them. And then we picked up plywood, and one of the groomsmen, he came over... I think it was the Wednesday before the wedding or the Tuesday and he helped Leo put it all together so that was great um, and then Leo painted it the night before just a gray color um, yeah so I have extra decor items that we picked up and I budgeted a budgeted about case okay, so, no what it's a scary okay cut and show my mother makes gorgeous wreaths, and this is the wreath that she made that my son just had to have for our front door. No, for my door oh. in my room. Yes, he wants to hang it in the house. Whew. <laughs> busy, busy. Anyways, um, I also put together a giant wreath that I think I spent about $50 on. I took apart two hula hoops and I put them together, and then I wrapped it with floral tape and added flowers and greenery, and then I ended up adding a light, a string of lights to it as well. Uh, we picked up chips and pop and candy for our candy bar, and it was about $150. We found two liter bottles of pop for a dollar. Um, we had a table full of candy. Uh, I think I already had the jars, so we didn't have to get anything for, like, to put the candy into. Uh, we had about 75 guests, so we just played music off of our um, computer through the surround sound. It was great. We could change the song when we felt like it. We downloaded all the music that we liked. It was easy to, easy to do that. Um, for the kids' outfits, we picked them up a $10 white uh, dress shirt and $10 pants from Walmart. And Dylan has smaller feet than Kaysen, so he was able to wear Kaysen's old dress shoes, which were in perfect condition because ugh, he never wears them. And we spent, I think, $25 on a new pair of shoes for Kaysen. Um, what else do I have on here? The bridesmaids, I told them just to wear a short black dress. They could pick anything. I wanted them to pick something that they would wear again. I know all brides say that, but I didn't want them to spend $100 on a dress that they could never wear again. I wanted them to pick out something that they loved and that they would wear maybe to a wedding that they would just be attending or whatever they happened to wear it to. Um, I asked them to wear a nude shoe. I didn't care what it was, whatever they felt most comfortable in. Um, the groomsmen were told just black dress pants, black dress shirt, and dress shoes. Um, we provided their ties, like I said. Um, our marriage officiant, uh, Laurel, she was $150, and our marriage license cost us $100. So in total, with everything that I had written down, we spent just shy of $2,200, but that's not including the fuel that it costs to get places or picking up little things like to attach flowers to the wreath or to hang the wreath or anything like that. We didn't pick through every little thing. So I'm going to say that Maybe it cost us roughly $2,500 to do our backyard wedding. Um, yeah. I will add in some photos as well so that you guys can see the dress and all of that. We did pick up some extra curtains because we rented five curtains and she gave us six just in case. Um, and they were $10 a piece. But then we also picked up um, 10 white curtains from the Dollarama. 
just in case it was kind of mucky and whatever. We didn't want to get her stuff dirty. A $4 curtain from Bellarama can be thrown out. It doesn't really matter. Like, we weren't too concerned about it. Um, yeah, it was exactly what we wanted. We were really happy with everyone who showed up. We had a blast. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, ask. I will do my best to answer anything where we got stuff. Um, yeah, that's it.